what it was. Y'all know who it is. And uh, you tuned in with Priceless Knowledge itself. And I figured I'd bring y'all a little cosmic insight for today. And say, man, it's Friday, December 11, 2020. I'm still in my motherfucking jammies. And we got the moon in Scorpio, y'all. But before I go there, I'm going to give y'all a little bit about the moon and also a little bit about the sign of Scorpio. So we know what we're working with. So what's the moon? The moon is the closest celestial body in relation to Earth and the whole entire solar system. So as I always tell y'all, it has the strongest effect on our moods and personality on a day-to-day basis. Just like the moon controls the Earth tides and the Earth is 65% water, your body is 65% fluid. So think about the effect it could have on you. You know, the moon rules the fourth house of the zodiac and the sign of cancer. It's about our instinctive awareness, our emotional nature and how we feel. And when we talk, when we're talking about the transit moon, it really sets the emotional tone of whatever sign it's in for the time that it's there. Okay. So what is the sign of Scorpio? Scorpio is the A sign of the zodiac. It rules the eighth house. It's ruled by the planet Pluto and Mars to a lesser degree. It rules over the bowels and the genitals. Its symbol is the scorpion and its mantra for me is I transform. And this fix water, y'all. And as our old cliche goes, and I tell y'all every time, still waters do run deep. So the Scorpio zodiac sign loves to concern itself with beginnings and endings, and frankly, it ain't afraid of either one. It travels in a world of black and white, and it don't have much use for the gray areas. As I tell y'all all the time, all the time, excuse me, Scorpionic curiosity is absolutely immeasurable, and it's also ineptly investigative. It loves to probe and get to the very bottom of shit. And due to Pluto's influence being instigated by Martian action and drive and the keen intuition that comes along with being fixed water, you know, it's certainly going to add to that dynamic. Wherever Scorpio shows up in the chart, it's about plumbing the depths and uncover hidden truths to obtain power, whether that be your power or someone else's. Scorpio is also concerned itself with sex and depth and, you know, it's the most intense energy that there is. So... We got the moon sitting at about three degrees of Scorpio right now. And I want to remind y'all that the moon spends about two and a half days in each sign. So when the moon comes into the fixed waters of Scorpio, it reminds us that there's more to life than what meets the eye. And it also puts us in touch with the driving forces within ourselves, as well as those in the motherfuckers that we engage with. This particular transit pretty much brings an end to the time for small talk. And makes us crave enemy conversations that could potentially unravel an emotional dilemma or even solve a psychological puzzle. We want to get to the root of shit right now. This is deep and intense energy. And it don't want to scratch the surface. It wants to know what the fuck is really going on. You know what I mean? It really does. The thing is, with the level, the level of intimacy that we desire right now, as that it can be so deep and visceral that we we kind of rather be by ourselves than fuck with somebody that we're out of sync with. If you can't vibe with me, if I can't vibe with you, let's just stay the fuck away from each other before I fuck around and hurt you. That's what Scorpio Moon is, you know? And that's just real. <laughs> you know, at least then we'll be able to follow our thoughts and brood and wherever that leads us. And just be with however the fuck we feel whenever the fuck we feel it. Scorpio has endless emotional fortitude. And that's kind of what makes the tone of this particular moon even willing to go there right now. During this particular time, we're definitely more open to taking a deeper look into shit. Especially those of a deeply emotional, painful, sexual, or cold, or even taboo nature. You know. We're not afraid to go there to things that might scare other people or make them uncomfortable. You know, <laughs> speaking of which, this Scorpio moon can really stir up the more sexual side of our emotional nature. And that being the things that we keep bottled up or repressed even. No bones about it. This next couple of days is a sexy time. It definitely is an intensely sexy time if you allow it to be. But let's not make it obsessively sexual. It can be intensely sexy, but not be obsessively sexual. And that's a trouble that we could have right here, too. So, you know, if you got somebody that you've been cutting for on the load that 
this the time to shoot your shot because this energy ain't just available for you. This energy is there for everybody. And if they feeling you a little bit, things could happen and get interested. I'm telling you, they really could. This is about the collective. And for those of us that are already involved, this Scorpio moon can definitely take shit to a deeper level. And that's going to be emotionally or sexually or even better both. So shit is definitely going to heat up either way. You know. On another note, this energy could really help us get to the root causes of any suffering. Being that we're a lot more willing to go into the dangerous psychic territory that, you know, we usually ain't going to go to. Well, not everybody's willing to go to because some people are always willing to go there because they live there, you know. Because we also inherently understand that that's the only way to really find healing and change. Scorpio energy is about change and transformation also in its highest form. And when we're talking about the moon being in Scorpio, this is emotional change. This is for you to really get to the bottom of shit and start feeling differently about it through acceptance and forgiveness, you know. We're also finding ourselves a lot more fascinated with the darker side of life. Other people and ourselves as well. You know, this is the time where you kind of want to know what makes people tick. And why are you so fucked up? And it's also the time where you can look in the mirror and say, why am I so fucked up? You know what I mean? And I suggest you do that more than anything else. Always. I'm always going to promote you taking a look at yourself before you do anything motherfucking else, man. You understand? You know, this is the time where we're going to be ready to walk through doors that say enter at your own risk. Because when a motherfucker accounts what's intense and caught up within ourselves, we kind of release that primordial power, which becomes the seeds of our transformation. Once you face that fear, you take its power. And... What's more powerful than that, you know? For my more creative people, they should utilize this energy to muse on the shadow side of things. And you'll be able to create things not only gripping, but also cathartic in some way. And for my truth seekers, they should use this energy to go ahead and dive down that rabbit hole <laughs> and to the darkest depths that they can get to and face truths that may be so disturbing that they'll probably change you forever. But the good thing about that is when we're under a Scorpio moon, we kind of want to be disturbed because Scorpio's ruling planet Pluto is what I like to call the great revealer. And it's the time to shine light in the darkest places. However, on the opposite end of that spectrum, this could murky things up because this energy is extremely private and secretive and people's moods are going to reflect that with motherfuckers really being ready to protect their most vulnerable emotions to the death. But look, y'all, <laughs> this transit ain't no different than any other scorpionic energy either. If you've been living foul, or lying like a motherfucker. You might want to prepare to address that shit. Because what's done in the dark comes into the light when we got a Scorpio moon. And if you've been being somebody's little secret, <laughs> you might be become somebody else's biggest problem or somebody else's biggest enemy. And with this lunar transit, you know, <laughs> that could be deadly than a motherfucker for you. So let's be mindful of what the fuck we doing and how our effect or how our actions affect everybody. And to sum it all up, when the moon is in Scorpio, it can also bestow us with this laser focus to the point of obsession. When we set our eyes on something or someone, you know, we're going to be on it. And focus is cool. So is ambition desire and drive but resorting to manipulating motherfuckers is not cool and neither is stalking or obsessing so let's not entertain that weird shit if we can hey man 
we got this solar eclipse in Sagittarius coming up in a couple of days, man. And it's going to bring a lot of energy. And just a couple of more days after that, we got this grand conjunction with Jupiter and Saturn being, you know, within a tenth of a degree of each other in Aquarius on the winter solstice or December 21st. All this energy is at play. But if you don't feel it's going to serve you, leave it alone. Just because you got it there don't mean you got to use it. Just because you built like that don't mean you got to build like that. Say, man. There's been some priceless knowledge itself. If you're fooling with me, please like, share, and subscribe. If you're interested in any astrological readings whatsoever, please hit me up in the comments below or email me at mr.turner1300 at gmail.com. And I want to thank everybody for the love and support, man. I'm here until I see y'all again. Excuse me. Keep it real. I do.